do a quick video. Um, I've reached challenge tower number 300. I haven't played it at all yet. I just thought I'd do a video of my first match against it to see how tough it really is. I've heard it's pretty tough. Um, from the screen here, it looks like uh, it gives you a random character and then you fight three people. That's all, all I can say. That's what it looks like you get. Um, I want to thank everyone who gave me tips uh, uh, as I fought against the challenge tower. Was some challenges were really tough like Army of Goro and Challenge 1-8... Uh, our army of what, sorry, and Challenge 187 where you fought Shiva, Goro and Kintaro. Those ones especially were hard. I didn't like the the, the Quan Chi one. I've forgotten the number. Uh, it's you versus Quan Chi. It's called Mirror or something. And uh, all, your, all your controls are backwards. And the computer's just all over your ass before you can figure out how the hell to play or how the hell to reverse your moves. It's really, really tough. It was really frustrating and annoying. I didn't like it at all. Um... I know what the prize is already, you know, because uh, I extracted all the images from the game. Uh, so, yeah, it's a disappointing prize, but at least you got something for beating Challenge Tower. You didn't get anything for beating Noob Sight in MK2. Um, I think it would have been more epic if she had been totally naked, I'll say that. <laughs> uh, yeah, the MK team really hyped it up. A lot of people thought you were going to get a really cool unlockable, but I don't think a skin was that, that cool. The retro skins would have been cool. Gave you all the retro skins. Anyway, uh, yeah, oh, Chris from Kamidogi gave me the tip on how to beat uh, Army of What. Uh, a, few, a lot of people gave me tips, but a lot, of, a lot of them didn't work. I was really frustrated. Like someone told me, just keep doing fireballs. That didn't work because Goro just, Goro just stopped me by doing one of his fireballs, which is infinitely faster. This is what he'd do. You'd do a fireball and it, you'd land in like three or four hits. Then the fourth one, he'd block it and instantly... Uh, Instantly uh, do his fireball back. Instantly, you know, break it like that, you know. And his fireball does ten times the amount of damage than yours does. So, yeah, the 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 uh, the trick to being that army of what is uh, just jump behind Goro and uppercut him. That's it, you know. <laughs> At first, uh, Chris was like, wait till he does this spin move. But for me, he wasn't doing the spin move. He was doing the the long range jumping fist attack. So, I, I, a lot of the time I'd go to jump behind him and I'd go him and he'd just move out of the way. But I just kept repeating it until I beat him. So, if you guys are stuck, it's a really good tip. All you have to do is jump over him and upcut him in the back where he has no armor. Alright, so I'm going give, to give this a go. Let's see how I go. End game, baby. Oh, I get to choose. Alright. Well, that makes things a bit more fun.
can fuck you up the ass. <laughs> God damn it! Look how close I was. I want. I wonder if that's the end. I don't think that's the end because the icon clearly shows another two shadows. But maybe I would have got a health boost. I don't know. Just try it again. <laughs> Shockwave moves, and it was a really good battle. But when, when the computer just keeps doing that stupid shit, it's just one sided. It's crap. You can't block, you never know when it's coming. It's too fast. It's just stupidity. It is stupid gameplay. I mean, that shit was never in like MK1, 2, and 3. You know, the only time it was in there was when the computer jumped up and then jumped on the ground. And that gave you plenty of time to either jump or get out of the way or do a counter attack. Ever since like Deadly Alliance, they bought that shit in with Moloch would do shockwave moves. It's just, it's trash play. I hate it. I hate that how they give that to bosses. That means they can just stand long range, the full length of the screen, and just keep jumping and making shockwave and just deplete your energy. It's crap. <laughs> And that bullshit armor on the front. See what Retro was talking about. Retro was telling me about the armor. It was right. It's crap. Just don't need it. with a close range attack. It's rubbish. But if I cut him back, he goes blind. What's, what's the point? Imagine it said FOOL every time you lost. How pissed off would you get? FOOL! FOOL! <laughs> Run 
rubbish play. <laughs> Trash play. <laughs> oh, every time I went to hit him, all he did was do that stupid teleport. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you, Kintaro. You didn't play like that in MK2. And in MK2, you're more feared than in this game. <laughs>
You're fucked now. Stay Richie fucking. <laughs> you are nothing. Huh? Huh? Want some other tattoo, baby? Huh? Huh? Oh. I think you do. I think you like it, bitch. That's what I think. I think you fucking love it. You're not getting up and cut it. Oh! Fuck that hammer. Just shove it up your ass. Unless there's more after that. I'm guessing there's not more after that. I'm a dude. And just to be clear, I haven't looked at any guides or anything. This is seriously my first game. I haven't looked at how to do it or anything. This is just me. I'm around, you know? If I don't do it, I'm just gonna stop now.
Yes, Tammy. I mean, flesh pits custom. <laughs> I am the Tower Master. <laughs> best alternate ever? No, if she was naked, it would be the best alternate ever. Let's make her naked! This chick's naked in Duke Nukem. Thanks for watching, guys. Shows the credits. Sweet. You know what bugs me about the credits? How the Australian PR guys get credit for it and then they banned it in our country. That sucks. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll see you sometime soon for my review of MK9. But yeah, that was quite a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.